Um, I do have some experience, um, not in the applications you just mentioned. I know of them, some. Um, I've, I've been in touch with uh, a floodlight, which is also, it's not really a mobile app, but it's a, it's a software, it's a machine that helps uh, monitor things, but also makes you do exercises uh, actively. And that uh, can also be given back to uh, the HCPs, the doctors, and uh, yeah, then track your, uh, how you're doing in the disease. Um, the functionality is especially because of, it's easy to use. It's also quite fun usually, so it has a sort of a, a game aspect to it, which uh, gets people motivated to do it more and more. Um, and it also keeps track of things uh, quite easily. Uh, and you don't have to think of it yourself to make notes in your diary or your agenda of what happened, because it's all monitored and it's all uh, yeah, kept uh, immediately. I'm not too familiar with the software is that the, um, uh, the neurologists are using. Uh, I'm thinking MRIs. It's always interesting for a patient to, to have the MRI um, at hand. So if they go to a different doctor, for instance, they can immediately share that with the, uh, the neurologist. Um, for instance, being on holiday or accident somewhere. Um, that could be nice. Um, but other features, I don't know if there's any other... Uh, most of these features like agenda already present, uh, reminders, um, the EDSS score is present usually, uh, nine peg, lots of other activities are present. Yeah, actually as, as I was uh, asked to, uh, to, to join you in this interview, I uh, was on holiday and um, uh, my brother-in-law, he had one of those smartwatches, so I said, I'll get one too. So I'm the proud owner of one, and I've been using it for the last month and a half um, and tracking lots of different things. Um, I'm using it for, yeah, obviously, the steps that you take. Um, I had used that one a couple of years ago, but then if I brush my teeth, I did a lot of steps, so that wasn't very official. Um, you can measure your heart rate, of course. You can uh, do exercises with it as well, so it measures... Again, um, the oxygen in your blood even, and, and lots of other things. So uh, sleeping time is measured, um, stress level, and all those things. So it's, it's active and you're, you're more conscious of what you're doing and what is helping or what isn't helping. So I think it's a, it's a good tool. Um, I think for, for MS or for myself is actually the steps that it really shows you, okay, you've not really done a lot today. Uh, sometimes when I'm in a meeting for an hour, two hours, all of a sudden it starts uh, buzzing or beeping and it says you need to, to move, you need to exercise a little bit, get out of your chair. And then you notice how often you sit in your chair and not do much. So I think that's a good one, a wake up call. Um, and it's also nice to see... Um, yeah, the number of uh, steps, even the, the blood pressure, I, uh, I like to, uh, to keep track of that as well. 